Very few companies can say they've designed a Formula One car. And similarly, very few companies can say they've designed an eVTOL aircraft. And the great thing is, if you mix the world of F1 and eVTOL together, you get this. And that's cool. Hi, my name's Mike Gaskell and I'm CEO of MGI Engineering. My background was in Formula One motorsport, uh, where I was a technical director for a range of teams such as uh, Tyrrell, Jordan, Renault, Toyota, um, and ended up setting up the Lotus Racing Caterham F1 team. Since leaving F1, um, we've been engaged in consulting, bringing F1 to life and bringing it, the engineering from F1 into mainstream uh, engineering sectors such as marine, automotive, aerospace, and also looking at our own projects, specifically looking at um, eVTOL and uh, advanced aircraft. But most of MGI's world is around electric vehicles, sustainable vehicles, and high performance, lightweight engineering. eVTOL stands for Electrical Vertical Takeoff and Landing aircraft and uh, that's a certain type of aircraft that's just becoming possible um, that uses electric motors um, and battery power or maybe hydrogen fuel cell power in the future to power an aircraft that can take off vertically and land vertically. Some of these aircraft looking at battery storage you of course have to carry a large weight of batteries um, which means that you have to have the lightest possible aircraft and you have to use things like F1 technology to, to allow you to have a really lightweight aircraft. And as that battery technology progresses and batteries get more and more capable, of course the usage and the range and the payload would go up. But at the moment, we're right on the edge of this novel technology, being able to carry useful payloads and do useful jobs. And of course, there's the applications in an urban environment for these vehicles because they can be green and cut out the use of vans for transport, cargo delivery, delivery of people from airports to, uh, to the centre of uh, large urban areas, but also in, uh, in rural environments for delivery of cargo, mail, medical supplies, disaster relief, emergency resupply, ship to ship, ship to shore transport, um, there's a huge range of applications to these vehicles that are possible now. Use in the air, urban environment may take time. Passenger eVTOL will come out of the safe application of cargo eVTOL and the hundreds of thousands of flying hours that cargo eVTOL will generate. What's also critical is the infrastructure. Uh, to fly passengers into urban environments safely, you're gonna need a huge amount of new infrastructure. Whereas to deliver cargo in applications like for the Royal Mail and Ireland delivering that, flying over open water, those applications exist now and the infrastructure that's necessary for them can be a modification of what currently exists. So it's a clear strategy for MGI to develop eVTOL based on the application of cargo aircraft. So a key project for us here at MGI Engineering is our technology demonstrator aircraft, um, which we call Mosquito. These vehicles in rotor-only configuration will have ranges up to 30, 50 nautical miles, depending on configuration and payload. The tilt-wing versions will have ranges from 80 to 200 nautical miles. At MGI, we initially started looking at uh, cargo eVTOLs in the range of 100 to 600 kilo payloads. But what we realised in using our test and development programme, looking at smaller scale vehicles, was that actually these were products in themselves, looking at the smaller payloads of 2 kilos to 20 kilos. There's also a need for those vehicles in the market. So that's why we've decided to initially focus on these smaller vehicles with smaller payloads, 
because they also allow us to prove the concept of our vehicles, safe operation of our vehicles, and ensure that we, when we move to larger and bigger aircraft, we can operate them safely and sustainably. So for us, one of the key things about cargo eVTOL compared to passenger eVTOL is if you want to make the world a greener planet and have sustainable aviation, you've got to ask yourself, do you want to take 10 Lamborghinis off the streets or do you want to take 10,000 transit vans off the street? Cargo eVTOL has the capacity to take those 10,000 vehicles off the street. We're proud at MGI to be working on these types of high technology projects and in particular the Mosquito project is a fully funded MGI project. Advanced air mobility, urban air mobility and the world of eVTOL is widely forecasted to be the big area of development and opportunity in aerospace. And to do that, they're going to need the lightest, most high performance vehicles possible. And that's the market opportunity for MGI engineering. Merlin. One of the most important things that MGI is team, and we include everyone in our team, even when we go testing, and even Merlin here is always part of the team. <laughs>